devil, devil come to me with a deal. Him says, sign and say if you're not bust next week. Hear me and say, man, you don't know, and next better than I represent, you know, Big Stone television, you know. So just keep it locked. Because Big Stone is the real big man. Yes, hear me and say. A very pleasant good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome once again to big stone television the series continue we're here talking about the late great jamaican reggae artists who have gone on just just a bit too soon and like we said before our reason for doing this is to educate our younger entertainers coming up for them to understand that a journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step and the very first artists are set of artists who are foundation and trendsetters and pioneers should be remembered and should be so respected. Now today we're talking about none other than Lincoln Barrington Sugar Minot. Yep, Sugar Minot is our focus today stay tuned lincoln barrington sugar Minot was born on the 25th of may 1956 he was a jamaican reggae singer producer and sound system operator after working as a selector on the sound of silent keystone sound system and then his own gathering of youth system he began his singing career as a part of the African Brothers in 1969, along with Tony Tuff and Derek Howard. The group released several singles in the first half of 1970s on labels such as Micron and their own ITA label, and were an early example of the Rastafari movement's influence on the Jamaican music scene taking a clear lead from the Abyssinians. After recording Mysterious Nature for producer Rupi Edwards, the group recorded 1974 No Cop No Broke for Studio One, breaking up shortly after. Mylat then teamed up with the producer Clement Cox and Dad as a studio apprentice at Dad Studio One, working as a singer guitarist and percussionist and soon began recording with his own singles. Minot developed a talent for writing new songs to fit over existing rhythms which at the time was common when singers performed live but rare in the studio. Often proven more popular than the original songs pioneering an approach that would be central to the emerging dancehall style. After a number of moderately successful hits for Studio One such as Vanity, Hang On Natty, Mr. DC and Jaja Children, his debut album Live Loving made his name and increased his popularity and is regarded as pioneering the dancehall style that would dominate the early 1980s. 
It was followed in 1979 with a second album, Showcase, which included the singles that had been omitted from the first album. The Bittersweet album followed, and then the third album of 1979, Getatology, which saw a return to Roots Reggae. Roots Lovers 1980 saw a move towards Lovers Rock, which was a UK hit. He became a bigger star in the UK than in Jamaica. His self-produced Hard Time Pressure, being a major UK reggae hit in 1980, leading Minor to relocate to the UK, where he became a focus for UK reggae. Singles such as Run Come, Not For Sale, African Girl, Lovers Rock, In A Dissert Time, Africa, and Make It With You with Carol Thompson were hits in the years that followed. Good Thing Going, a cover of a song originally recorded by Michael Jackson in 1971 was picked up for distribution by RCA and reached number four in the UK singles chart in March 1981, leading to an album of the same name. The Herbman Hustling album saw a return to dancehall and roots reggae. He released an album of recordings from Channel One Studio with lots of extras. In 1983, collecting several hits from his time working with Winston Onis. Returning to Jamaica, his youth promotion sound system performed regularly in Kingston Maxwell Park, featuring Jastich, a newcomer who had been nurtured by his organization such as Rankin Joe, Captain Sinbad, and Rankin Dread. His Black Roots label featured his production of these artists, plus others such as Barry Brown, Tennessee, Little John, Tony Tuff, Barrington Levy, Aris Andy, and one of his discoveries from England, Trevor Hartley. Maynard also produced early works by Nitty Gritty, Junior Reed, Yami Bolo, Color Man, Daddy Freddy, and Garnet Silk. In 1980s, he was working with producers in Jamaica including Mikey Dredd, George Pong, Sly and Robbie, Philip Fattis Burrell, Channel One, Prince Jammy, and Donovan Germain, as well as recording for United States-based Lloyd Bulwaki Barnes, the Wicked I Go Feel It album from 1984. His biggest hits included Herman Hustlin, No Vacancy, Jamming in the Street, Rubber Dub Sound, Buy Off the Bar, Rhythm, and Devil's Picnic. He linked up with Sly and Robbie for 1984 Rubber Dub Sound style, single which is regarded as a prototype for the Raga style that developed in the mid 1980s. Sugar Miner continued to work on his Black Roots label, youth promotion label, and for major and independent labels. His album received increasingly exciting reviews. He released over 60 albums and hundreds of singles. Minot is one of the artists who appear on the 2006 record, Radio Dread, released by the Easy Star label. He provided the guest vocals on the song Exit Music for a film. Minot's desire for independence led him to leave Studio One in 1978 and form his own Black Roots label. And you promotion organization, the latter with the aim of helping young singers from the same ghetto background as himself. Maynard also ran the Youthman Promotion Sound System, giving young performers their first public exposure. Youthman Promotion has new selectors working alongside the veterans of Major Stitch, Raga Steve and Drifter, Daddy Hans, Mr. Shorty and Jimmy Knuckles. The selectors most recently added to the sound are the General Star B in 2007 along with Pockini and Junior War who were added in 2012. Raga Steve has taken full control of the sound with Earl Minot in the UK. Sugar Minot died on the 10th of July 2010 at the University Hospital of the West Indies. 
in the St. Andrew Parish of Jamaica. After being admitted earlier that day, the cause of death remains undisclosed. He had been affected by a heart condition since the early 2009 and cancelled several performances in May 2010 due to chest pain. In May 2012, a charity concert was held at his former home commemorating his birthday with minor children who include Tamar aka Passion joined by Bounty Killer, Sizzler, Beanie Man, Junior Reed, Ken Booth and John Old. Proceeds went to the Youthman Promotion Music Center and other calls helping local people. Lincoln Sugar Booga Miners one of the great singers of Jamaica, gone too soon. A young man in his prime, just ready to do the great work that he was set out to do. But his life was cut short by a serious illness. Sugar mind that you came here, sir, and you did a remarkable job. You was not a selfish individual. You gave off your all. You gave it to all of the youngsters in the communities so they could have a better life a much better one than you did when you started out as a young singer and that is the example of a great human being you're a selfless man Mr. Minot and your memories will live on with us forever at this time I just want to pay my respect to your family and all your sons and your daughters my condolences to the Minot family I just want to say your dad was a great dad he came and he saw and he conquered and he did exactly what he was supposed to do. He delivered. Lincoln, Barrington, Sugar Minot, may your soul find eternal peace. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, now is the right time to do so. Listen out for another episode of great genius of reggae music gone too soon thank you